Hello everyone and welcome back to Super Paper Mario. Last time we completed chapter 5-3. And uh, we met Flake Cragley and, and crew. You want real danger? How about my duel with the foul Rainbow Zilla? As the heroes descended into the floral caverns, Flake Cragley entertained them all. Boss! Boss! Cragnon's heard that story 255 times, brah. You make him my crag hurt. Bruh, if you count time we weren't tied up, then it 256 times. Mario and Co. glanced over at the weary faces of Flint's crew as they delved deeper. But a light grew. Was it a ray of hope from the pure heart, or an evil illusion? Chapter 5-4 The Menace of King Crocus Cragley ho! We plodded on, traipsing all over ma over all manner of beasts that gnashed fangs at us. But then, no! A sight too horrible to believe appeared before our eyes. Boss, nothing happened yet, bro. I know that you cretin. The sight too horrible to believe is still up ahead. We're going to look for it now. Come on, move! W wait up, bruh! Boss, no! Monzo not want to get left behind, bruh! I don't like you. I really don't like you. I thought you'd be easier to deal with, but you're kind of a dick. Yeah. That works somehow. Hey, can I, hey, can I go down here? Nope. Mini fight! So, I believe this is a chapter where we get our final pixel. And it kind of makes me sad. And just a moment. do not want to touch slurs. Not, not this time. This is kind of a, like a nice place to grind. I think you get my point. Oh crap. Yeah. Oh, 
Dude, I just realized. I literally just realized. If. If I'm on carry, I actually do double damage. I literally just realized that. Oh, wait. No. That's a heavy Cursia. It's a spiteful monster that curses everything it touches. Max HP is 1 and attack is 1. It makes you heavy and hinders your jumping. Alive without jumping. It's too terrible to cont contemplate. Unless you're a butterfly. Bonk! Bonk! Now, this isn't- this isn't actually a- <gasps> Do I have anything for this? I do. Alright. I'm pretty sure it's given made all the clones it can possibly make. So what do we got? We got meteor meal snow cone. We'll go snow cone. Oh, I get it. So if I turn that into an item, I don't have to do the little animation. There are letters written on the wall here. Behind the skull. That's what it says. Wait, there's an item behind there. You got a pal block. Rattles enemies on the ground and ceiling. This does not work against enemies that are in the air. It's a reverse Yakursia. It is a spiteful monster that, tur that curses everything it touches. Max HP is 1 and attack is 1. It can make you move entirely in opposites. I absolutely always hated this one. It kind of reminds me of the confusion thing in Terraria. So, uh, yeah. Sorry, just a moment. I just occasionally look at something off to the side. If you get cursed, it's best to relax. You'll learn to adjust until the effect wears off. Or I can also do this. The, I- oh my god. I moved dangerously close to him. Wait, did I ever go into that pipe? I'm pretty sure I know where that pipe goes. But we'll take a look anyway. Oh yeah, that's the room where the uh, tech curses were. What's in here? Not much of anything. Yay!
Yeah, whenever I'm on carry, the attack doubles. Inter interesting. Eek! F found us! Gabriel thought this was good hiding spot since Key was lost, brah! Yes, this is unexpected. But so is a storm of rain. Such is the way of things. There are no absolutes. What what we do, brah? Come, come, be at peace. Your calm your raging inner sea. Let us meditate on this. You probably right, brah. Got it. E Evil Ross, you take Gavro. Gavro give up. But her, do not hurt Pixel. Mm. But you, no. Let Gavro speak, brah. You kept Gabro company. You helped Gabro hide. Gabro owe you big, brah. Big debt for Pixel. Gabro's time ending, but Gabro really want you to live free. Come now, ease your mind. Let me muffle the wails of your frightened soul. Do not be hasty in fear. Look closer. That is not one of the Floro Sapiens. What? Who are you, bras? Could you... You come to save Gabro? Well... I guess. This is interesting. Just like Flint Crackle, you've avoided falling under the control of the Fleur of Sapiens. What? Flint here too? God, we're a huge Cragley fan. Cragley do something, brah. Cragley save us all. Well, isn't that welcome news? Why don't you go find Flint? For I must bid you farewell. W what? Why? You not come with God, bro? Humans and pixels. Or Cragnons and Pixels, for that matter, shouldn't linger long together. Only heroes who know how to utilize the Pixels properly can travel with them. Please, heed my words now. It's best for you this way. Oh, Crag... Come now, let me assist you in your departure from here. Let your aura shrink. When it diminishes, you can return to the village where the one you seek awaits. Thank you, Great Pixel, brah. God will not forget you. Ah! Farewell, Weeping Kragnon. Go frolic beneath the sun where you are meant to live. Rain still falls in my heart. The taken souls cry out. Why do they cry such tears? You must stop this torrent. Fate brought us together. Great hero of 1500 years. Now you must take me there. To the deep, dark underbelly of the earth. The tiny pixel named Dottie has joined your group. Dottie can miniaturize you so you can enter small spaces and avoid being noticed. Let us go before the rain of tears becomes a flood, before disaster breaks. Now, you guys remember those tiny, tiny, tiny little houses that we've come across on occasion? Dottie is a pixel that can let us access those. Not only that, but when you're small, as it may have mentioned, enemies do not notice you as easily. Processing Center. Card key! It won't open. Please insert card key. Yay! Oh. Oh. Oh my. Hey, can I actually blow this up? Nope. I gotta- I gotta hit it. Right there it said I couldn't use a pixel. That's because, uh, Boomer was coming back. Oh boy.
You got a fluoro... You've got to be kidding me. Great, now I do double damage to them. So if I accidentally fall on one, my score's gonna go down. Let's not fall on one. Okay, good. <laughs> so, at long last, you've come to play like late sleeping toddlers. Tenshio and O Chunks. Ah, do you not tire of collecting those worn out, tiresome pure hearts? I am not violent by nature, you know. I prefer to settle this peacefully, in fact. Say, for instance, you wished you could go you wished to go back to your world. I could do that for you. We are not interested. <laughs> so it must be. Shall we begin? Oh boy. Ugh, haven't you learned? No matter how often we fight, it will end the same. My my, aren't you plucky? Same fight, same outcome. You are precisely correct. And that is why... Broccoli! Lovely green hat! Wouldn't you say? What? Dear old chunks, so strong yet so very dim, a child could learn his attack patterns. As such, I requested a few sprouts from my acquaintance to live in him up a touch. I call the boy O Cabbage. Don't be shy, O Cabbage. Introduce yourself. Cabbage! Honestly, that does kind of make sense. O chunks is. <clears throat> He's mostly all he did say he was going to be all brawn, not brain, so the fact that he's not the fact that he's not the sharpest tool on the shed makes him very easy to brainwash. <laughs> Simply adorable. <clears throat> now remember kids, eat your vegetables to grow big. Except in this case, a veggie will eat you. Have fun now. Ciao. I mean if it's anything like annoying orange, evil vegetables are nothing to mess with. Asparagus! That's O'Chunks. Dementio has vegetified him. He has no will of his own. In that case, he is 60 and attack is 3. He seems faster and stronger than before, but he will get dizzy after being thrown. That's your only chance. Don't let his quick movements confuse you. Just keep a steady head. First things first. Whoa, oh my god, that's new. Hi. Ow! Ah! Fantastic. Ah! Okay, you are not fucking around. Uh, well, we don't really need... There we go. Ow. Ow, come on! Still... Still fucking hilarious. Doing Oh, you mother god damn it. I think it's better if I just fight him as Bowser. Oh, I can skip the animation. I did not know that. Okay. Get out of my get out of my face. I can just do this all day. Get stumpified. Buh, buh, broccoli. <laughs> eh, 
Hey, what engraving am I doing in here? Huh? And what are you doing in here as well? Oh, I get the picture. You want to challenge the new improved though chunks? You got pepper in your pants, I'll give you I'll give you that. But this time, you will get ruined. Whoa. Uh -oh. My belly's growling like a starving dog. Warrior rule number one. Never fight on an empty stomach. Test madness. Sorry, but we've got to call it a day. Can't go bucking the warrior rules. Next time though, you're done. Chunks away. Wasn't there a ceiling? Look, the sprout on his head. It's the same as on the floor florified Kragnons. It looks as though it's nearly dead, however. Well, what do you think? Would you care to try it on? I believe you'll be safe. Hmm. You didn't turn into cabbage. That's nice, I guess. This could come in handy. <laughs> I love the fact that he wears it on his nose. That model of old chunks, and they are coming along quite nicely. Perhaps they really are the ones I've waited for all this time. <laughs> I should pre <clears throat> I should prepare myself as well. So much to do. So little so precious little time. I really should heal. Now you might be wondering why we would need this. You will soon find out. First. Skitter, skitter. Uh, somewhere around here. Is it through here? Wow, I actually go through Pipefold Tiny. That's hilarious. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, I could've used that. Oh well. I'm really sorry about the crackling. I really am. I don't know why that's happening now. I really don't. It's never happened before. By the way, um, I'm fairly certain that, um... I'm fairly certain that, uh, if you wear the sprout near Floro Sapiens, they will not attack you because they believe you're brainwashed. This is used for inspection. You have to meet certain requirements to get through. Yeah, if you're not wearing the sprout, it doesn't let you in. That's a fancy picture of a Flora Sapien. Their king, perhaps? It looks so strong. It's a really old painting. The floor under the painting is cracked as well. Does it say the same thing for all of these? That's a Flora Sapien go girl. By Flora Sapien standards, she's lovely. This Flora Sapien is younger than the others, more delicate, maybe even weak. Ow. Hmm. 
What a strong Floral Sapien. Powerful, threatening, and very passionate. This picture is newer than the others. Hey, South Soup! King Crocus the First, reign 1 to 496. The first king of the Flora Kingdom, Crocus the First is known as the greatest of kings. He united the Flora Sapiens under a single cause, creating the Flora Kingdom. He made a capital here and established a calendar begun at the kingdom's birth. Heavily armored, he bore deadly thorns and came to be called the Iron Rose. The kingdom's infrastructure and early roads were built by Crocus the First's design. But when his successor, the prince, died unexpectedly, so did Crocus the First's spirit. The Flora year 444 marked the start of the Reign of Fear, the Darkening. Eventually, Crocus I and his foul, regime, foul regime were overthrown in a sappy coup d'etat. The king was struck down, marking the official end of the Darkening. His wilting words were said to be, The Iron Road shan't wither! But wither he did. Queen Crocus II, reigned 496 to 1298. Crocus II was daughter, the daughter of the great ruler, King Crocus I. Crocus II was imprisoned for being critical of the former king's policies, but when he was overthrown by the people, Crocus II was freed and given the throne. Her efforts to reduce taxes and study diseases made Crocus II very popular. Eventually, her influence helped erase the scars the Darkening had left. She also compiled a Floro Sapiens prehistory called the Flictionarian. The book was to be her legacy, a historic mark of her benevolent influence. Crocus II feared the fight for the throne that might ensue if she bore many heirs. She had white, but one heir late in her life. This earned her the name, the White Maiden. King Crocus III, reign 1200, 1200, or 1298 to 1385. Crocus III was just one when his mother wilted. He became the youngest king ever. The young king had a great predilection and talent for poetry and art. His talent was evident in works like Ice Rose, a book of poems from his 37th year. But he was also afflicted by a terrible disease from the time he was born. Without ever impacting the affairs of his kingdom, he wilted at age 88. The cause of his wilting was never made public. Many suspected a conspiracy. This was never confirmed. King Crocus IV, reign 1385 to present. Formerly a regent for King Crocus III, he ruled in place of the frail child king. After Crocus III's wilting, his service was recognized and he was made king. His stabilizing influence and political savvy made him popular and well known. His recent achievements include, in Flora year 1625, he invented a method for mind controlling Kragnons. In Flora year 1626, he spearheaded an initiative to enslave Kragnons en masse. Now, the thing about their, the floors beneath these paintings being cracked and old gives a little hint on what you're supposed to do. Now this one is, since this one is not old, it's more hidden. Now, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to match the colors of these blocks to the to the paintings. No, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Uh, this one is white. No, god damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Careful. This one's already blue. No, why do I keep doing that? 
I'm trying- I keep trying to press up and I keep interacting with it. I I'm not meaning to. Save block. Where are my pretties? Pretties, beautiful things. Ooh, we bring them to me. More, more, more. Ooh, what is this hideous clashing thing? Um, are you King Crocus? Ooh, so you must be the intruders I've heard so much about. Well, I will not forgive the great trashing of my beautiful kingdom. No, Wii U. Thus, you are warned. King Crocus, you must release the Kragmans you've enslaved. Never! Their sturdy bodies make them such fine workers. Exquisite. I need them to dig up more gems so I can build a bejeweled palace. Ooh, -wee. Why, how positively horrid. Release them this instant. Trash, it's garbage, no matter how you dress it. This world is made for beauty. And if you need some proof, then have a look at this. It's the pure heart. I can hear it in your voice. You want it so badly, you can barely think. Hmm? Seems we all seek beauty, so how dare you take a high horse over me? Don't compare us to you. We're nothing like you. Your blabber hurts my ears, and your smell is wilting me. I can stand you no longer. I rarely stoop to such things, but I'll destroy you myself. Consider it an honor. Oh boy. Yeah, despite what you expect, it is still King Crocus. If the, uh, giant plump lips and purple eyeshadow didn't make that not obvious. Ooh, here I come! Now you want to learn- you want to know something I learned that you can do with this boss? You can do this. That- I did not make- I did not plan for it to be hit twice, but that was hilarious and amazing. So... Basically, you can only hit him when his face is exposed. And these little buggers... Oh, 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 god, oh, jeez, no, 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 no. You can also, th you can also throw them at him. Doink! And there go his thorns. On to phase two of the fight. Go on, do it again. I dare you. I dares you. Do it again. Oh, wait. That's King Crocus. He leads the floor of sapiens and loves beautiful things. Max HP is 50, attack is 2. He attacks with his head like other floor of sapiens. I don't think you can damage him when, he, when his face is closed off like that. Using throw to grab stuff, then jumping on them works pretty well, though. You can also grab the little blades. I didn't mean for that to- I didn't mean for that to happen. Come here, you. Doink. Yeah, 
beautiful. Even as I wilt, I am, I am beautiful. King Crocus. Whoa, what did you guys do, huh? We have defeated your king. Get over it. Hey, shut up! You don't get it at all! King Crocus was awesome! He totally thought of his people first, man! And you... You wilted him! What? What are you talking about? Water, man! I'm talking about water! The Kragdons were polluting our water! Those dudes were tossing trash into the river! We had to drink that crud! That dirty water was what drove our king bonkers, don't you get it? So... Then... Oh. Of course! I knew it all along! Hello, you! Craig LaHell! Emergency special reports from the floral front lines! Environmental pollution drives floral sapiens mad! Whither will they rampage? So the villagers taught throwing garbage in the river was the reason for this whole thing? Well, I tried to tell those guys, but my thoughts were too far ahead of their time. This play well the green Kragnon crowd. Ready to explode, bruh! Eat like crags on ice meet Baron Von Kragnington. Yes, once my fellow villagers see this, they'll surely realize the error of their ways. Once the words of Fleet Cragley reach them, they'll throw garbage no more. Yeah, water, man. I mean, it's easily our most tre precious treasure, know what I mean? You promise not to dirty our water, and we'll just chill down here and be cool. And we'll totally take those sprouts off your villagers' noggins, too, man. Sounds like a fine way to keep the peace in the land. Keep those promises, folks. That was a rather unexpected turn. Wailing on our king aside, you guys are totally heroes. You should take this. One of our earliest kings received this to safeguard until the hero's arrival. Our people have kept that promise for like 1500 years or something crazy like that. I'm sure our wilted king here would be stoked that, is that this duty got done. Got a pure heart! End of chapter! Men of true grit witness what live what others can only see through crag vision. That is what moves me to travel into the belly of the beast week after week. Thanks again for watching, and until the next time, Cragly Ho! Having wrapped their latest shoot, Flint and crew went back to downtown of Crag. Mario and friends clutched the sixth pure heart as they walked back towards Flipside. Our heroes had taken a new step toward overturning the prophecy of destruction. And that's where I'm going to end off this episode. Thank you all for watching this episode of Super Paper Mario. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want more content in the future, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell, and I'll see you next time when we begin our next interlude. And uh, an another thing of note, the thing about those little um, shops that you can buy from, I'm probably going to wait until like later on to actually start buying them because I'm going to need more of those uh, data disks, t cooking disks to really uh, be able to understand what those are for, the things you can get from the shop. Anyways, till next time everyone.